Architects and engineers spend a lot of time ensuring that large buildings they design are well insulated, at least to code. But what if much of that insulation is wasted? New analysis shows that two R's won't make your U. I'm Vince Penman. R-value refers to the thermal resistance of a building material. The higher the R-value, the more insulation the material provides. Most building designers simply provide enough insulation to meet the relevant building code or green building certification. But new analysis shows that the R-value of the material isn't the only thing that affects how well a wall insulation system works. Common insulation procedures can cut the effective R-value in half. We asked Mark Lawton of Morrison Hirschfield to help explain. Culprit is thermal bridging. This is particularly true in large buildings that use steel and concrete for studs and connections. Steel is an excellent conductor, and if it is running through the insulation, heat can follow that path, effectively bypassing the insulation. Now, this is not new to engineers and architects. We've known it for a long time. But what is new is getting a realization of how much that's true. The association of sorcerers releasing ancient enchantments, better known as ASHRAE, what? Oh, sorry, the other ASHRAE, the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers, writes the energy performance standards that most building codes reference. They want to make sure that the R values we expect are the R values we get. ASHRAE recently commissioned a study to determine the scale of the thermal bridging problem. This image of a curtain wall system in winter shows that the heat in the floor slab is red as compared to the curtain wall, which shows as blue or cold. By using sophisticated 3D thermal analysis, engineers at Morrison Hirschfield, working on the ASHRAE project, determined that thermal bridging can result in more than double the expected heat loss. Our study found that the most common way of trying to improve the thermal insulation of a wall, just stuffing more insulation into the wall, doesn't work very well. It's pretty easy to imagine. If I had an area of insulation, and then I had a steel rod going through it, I might have 10 units of heat flowing through the insulation, but easily 10 going through the rod. That's bad enough. But now, if I double the insulation and I think I'm improving things, I've only changed the insulation down to five units, but I still have the 10 going through the rod. One common approach for installing insulation is with vertical Z-girts that are in line with the steel studs. The alignment of the metal connection results in a very direct thermal bridge. The ASHRAE study used 3D thermal modeling to follow the heat transfer across multiple types of girt connections. In addition to vertical Z-girts, they modeled horizontal Z-girts, vertical and horizontal Z-girts, and intermittent Z-girts. When we were doing this modeling, we found that with one of the common systems, the vertical Z-girts, heat transfer was about twice as much as some of the better systems we trusted. This chart shows the effective R value on the vertical axis and the nominal value of the insulation on the horizontal axis. And you can see as we move across here and add insulation, the effective R value doesn't go up very much. When we looked at alternate clip systems, we found that very simple solutions like using intermittency girts or clips instead of continuous ones could easily improve overall thermal effectiveness by 50%. This finding is important because in modern buildings, approximately half of all energy consumed is in heating and cooling, and the walls are the biggest source of thermal transfer. And the exciting thing is, is the fix is simple. If you know where the problem is, how big it is, you can turn your attention to it and fix it, and there are ways. As a result of this work, ASHRAE can develop new reference tables that will allow architects and engineers to truly understand the thermal performance of the buildings they design, and to improve the actual energy consumption, which is, after all, the whole point. I'm Vince Penman. Thank you for watching.